and raining Old Trafford disappointing afternoon off the pitch right now but on the pitch not much better mate miserable miserable morning oh, I don't know what to say I'm, I'm lost for words with this team at the moment what is it four Old Trafford in a row four games in a row is that Old Trafford out of two two trophies out of the Premier League today in my eyes and my personal opinion I don't know what to say of Solskjaer his team selection is just completely off we, we all had the hype on Wednesday night from the Villarreal game. We thought we we're going to kick on from here. We didn't do it. Just, just simple stuff that we can't do. We can't pass the ball. There's no patterns of play. The midfield is useless. I've been said this for a long time now. If you stick with McFred in that midfield, we're never going to win anything. We're never going to move forward. The pair of them are useless, and I can't stand it. But Ole loves to stick with his favourites, and that's what I mean. That you need to have. A, it's looking at the manager now. It all comes back to the manager. Pressure's going to mount on him now. I mean, that midfield today, a lot of people inside were going in on it. Uh, Fred could have done better with the goal. How did you see that goal of Everton's today? Was it solely down to Fred not clearing his lines? Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. I think Fred, my personal opinion, put it out. Put it out for throwing, kick it in the crowd, let it hit someone in the face, I don't care. We don't, they don't score if you put it out of play. We regroup, it's our corner. Let it sink in. They scored from our corner. We had a corner. Fair enough, it wasn't the best of corner by Bruno, but you still need time to regroup. Fred's getting caught under wan Bissaka's feet. Just put it out or even take, take the player out and take the throw in. Take one for the team and it, it's a 1-0. But clinging on to little things like that, we were lucky to come away with a point today because Everton ever looked like when they were going forward like they were going to score. When we go forward, we don't look like we're going to do anything. Give us under half an hour, we're not going to score another goal. Is that a concern? Lack of creativity in the end. Everton, like you said, should have really won it. Yeah. We didn't really work Pickford enough in the second half. No, no, that's it. With lack of creativity, individual brilliance is what this United team is clinging on to. They're not. We're not a team. We're individuals, and that's all we are. Bruno's a bit little, little turn in the first half and layoff to Martial. A little bit of individuals. We're one. We're one nil up. Martial, which I thought played well in the first half. I didn't think he did anything wrong. I don't know if he went off injured, but. And that's another thing with Solskjaer and his, and his subs. I've never seen him make early ch changes like that before. It's just like to appease, bring Cavani off, bring Sancho on, take players off just to appease the fans. Do you think it's getting to a point now where it's visibly showing that Oli's struggling to manage this squad? Yeah, we said, we said at the start of the season and when we signed Ronaldo, there's no excuses for Solskjaer now. He's got all the tools, he just can't deal with it. He can't deal with the players and he can't deal with the squad. And it doesn't help when you're calling your players sulkers, was it the other day, called Van der Beek a sulker? He's digging the players out now. And, and you can't do that. He's obviously showing that he can't deal with his squad. And Ronaldo, Ronaldo, I heard reports from Ronaldo saying that we'll score more goals if we move the ball quicker. We won't move the ball quicker if we've got McFred in the middle of midfield. I can tell you that. I mean, looking forward, it's not getting any easier game-wise now. Uh, you said then, Premier League's gone. Yeah. Uh, we lost the Carabao Cup the other week as well. Realistically, everyone said Oli needs a trophy this season. Can you, hand on heart, say from what you've seen so far that we're going to get that trophy? No, I honestly can't see it. I said la last year he had the Europa League on, on a plate for him and he fluffed that as well. I can't see him winning a trophy. Out of the Carabao Cup, it may have it, it might be the Mickey Mouse Cup, but it's still a trophy which we needed. We're not winning the Champions League, we're not good enough. We're not at the level to win the Premier League. And the FA Cup, maybe, but he might fluff that as well. He, he can't. I just don't think we're going in the right direction with him. I think he's done a great job at United to get us to where we are now, setting the club up for the next manager. And I think that's what, where the club needs to look, but we won't. We'll stick with him, and that's is, what we do. On that, is there anything that Ollie himself can do that can convince you that he can turn it around? Is there a certain. A uh, certain team you would put out or certain players you'd want to be seeing play more games? Yeah, ch change the pattern. Yeah, I know it's a pre-season friendly, but when we played Everton here in, in the summer, he had Matic and van der Beek in the middle. We beat him 4-0. I know it's a pre-season friendly, but the energy level's in the middle. And, he, and he, he said it in the press conference the other day, McTominay and Fred are instrumental for my team because they win the ball. No, well, we don't see that. They must do something in training to warrant sticking in there week in week out because I don't see it I don't see it and people in the crowd don't see it and, and the abuse that them two were getting today in the crowd it, it's going to get worse and it's sooner or later it's going to turn on Ollie if it's not already done itself Van der Beek and Matic needs to be the centre 
preparing with Pogba or even go back to like we used to when uh, we were winning games just in the lockdown when we had Matic and Pogba with Bruno in front. And that is, is, that's all he's got left. I mean, yeah. He's got firepower beyond. Yeah. Uh, we're not seeing the best of them. Is it because of that midfield now that we're not seeing the best of our forwards even? Well, you're playing two CDMs. You're taking a creative midfielder or an attacking player away from that because you're playing two. This Everton team was like second string. They were missing all the main players and they should have won. That's, that, that's, that's the most annoying thing. This, we, had, we had Ronaldo out there today, Sancho obviously not from the start. We had enough players in this team today to come here and win comfortably and we couldn't do it. Um, it's worrying. Cheers for coming on, mate. No worries.